And we're talking to David from Bolton. Are you there, David? Hi, Scotty. How are you doing? You're all right, buddy. Hi, I'm fine, mate. First time calling in tonight, mate. Good to hear from you. Hi, as you can tell, I'm not originally from Bolton. Excellent. Are you speaking within a, a cave? Hi, it's halls of residence. Student halls of residence. Oh, the halls of residence. Hi. <laughs> Took me some, it took me an hour to find somewhere where I could hear my own voice. Fantastic! Hey, what about that old dear that was on there? I tell you, you've got some great crackers down here. She's wonderful, wasn't she? Oh, I don't think, remember this day? I don't think she can remember the last time she strung two words of pen together. Well, and where, where are you from yourself? Eh, uh, Governing Glasgow, Scotland. From Governing Glasgow, excellent, the Fairfields. Do you know it? Oh, yes, very well indeed. Aye. Yes, I know, Govan, Govan Town Hall. Aye, that's it. Govan so Cross. Me, Scotty. Govan Cross. Oh, aye. <laughs> the Govan Ferry. The Govan Ferry. That's my brother. <laughs> and are you doing a wee bit of studying? Just a bit, Scotty. Civil engineering at the Bolton Institute. That's what we need. Wonderful. Oh, definitely. Three months here and they've no fun mute yet. We need wonderful. Good civil engineers we need. Definitely, mate. Hey, great to hear from you anyway, and I hope everything goes well for you. That's great, Scotty. I, I tell you, Scotty, there's something else I'd like to... Uh, something is, uh, I don't know how you get the job. I found it difficult getting a job down here with the accent. I was wondering if you can put it out of the nation and see if any jobs going. You'll and never... Hey, listen, the they don't mind accents down here at all. They've got plenty of their own. You think so? Absolutely, no problem at all, so I wouldn't worry about that. Hey, mate, no problem. You get your CV made up and get it round the companies and you'll be dinky-doo. Any chance of a job on your show, Scotty? As a civil engineer? Oh, is that anything? <laughs> I can pour your whiskey for you. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, listen, you take care of yourself, chum. Hey, mate, thanks very much. I'll speak Cheers. to you soon. All the best to you. Cheers, David. Right, there we go. I don't think he had a difficult accent at all. Um, now, Mark from Formby. All right, there, mate. How yep. you doing, there, mate? All right. Think oh, you do? I think you do, Mark. How you doing? Um, what about the uh, squirrels in Formby? You don't have a problem with uh, with accents, do you? No, not at all, mate. How are the squirrels doing in Formby? Uh, they're getting pretty good there, mate. There's, there's loads of them. Of course there is. There's stacks of them. Oh, there's stacks of them. Uh, I'm on about uh, the, the fox hunting life that's going through the commons at the moment. Yes. Um, I was just wondering... Um, what do you think about it? Like, you know, do you think it's pretty rough? Do I think what's pretty rough? The, the banning of it. Well, are you a fox hunter yourself? Oh, aye. What hunt do you hunt with? Uh, what, uh, dogs. No, what hunt? What's hunt? Yes. Well, well, I've my own private hunt, like. A private hunt? Yeah. You're not a fart-head by any chance, are you? Um, uh, could Could you be a fart-head, maybe? You, farted, you, eh? you and your friends, are you fart heads? Yeah, and uh, I'm doing yep. a bit of <laughs> A few fart heads there. All round at somebody's house, having a wee bit of a laugh. Let's take the old uh, out of Scotty McClue, eh? Why not? Tom from Bake Up. Hello? Hello, Tom, how are you? Oh, this isn't Tom, actually. Is it Alex? Is it Alex? That's Alex. Hi, yeah. Alex. How are you, Scotty? I'm fine, mate. That's good. Uh, I didn't phone up for this, but the woman that was on about the Millennium... Yes. Uh, I did a lot of work for Action 2000 on the Millennium. Right. <laughs> and if she uses her own logic to think about it, when a baby's born, it becomes into existence. And on the stroke of midnight, the new Millennium becomes into existence. Right. Therefore, the old Millennium must cease to exist, because you can't have the same time an old millennium and a new millennium and that's when the changeover happens so at the end of 2000 no no the end of 1999 yes just like a baby's born yes yeah, the new millennium becomes into existence yeah and the new millennium is one at the end of 2000 that's right like a baby's one on its first birthday so that's the first year of the new millennium yeah and the old millennium Millennium dies on its 2000th birthday, which is the 31st of December, 1999. Right. And then it's, it's existed for 2,000 years. Excellent. Well, I'm glad you've cleared that up for us, mate. But that wasn't the reason I called. No, right. Uh, it's, it's to do with Armistice Day. Now, I mean, I've never been in the services that my father was, 
and I agree with both of your callers that we should keep it because it's a good tradition. But the thing that really you were talking about what causes war, if there's something we could leave behind from this millennium, if all your listeners could get rid of the pride that they have, you know, envy and greed, that all comes from pride. Right. And it would stop war. And, they, you know, we wouldn't have any fear. So are you saying we shouldn't be proud then? I'm saying that we shouldn't have pride, that we should, like, want things, and we, we should want nice things, but we shouldn't envy people, and we shouldn't, you know, cause trouble to get things or to do things. But I don't think we need to envy people. I mean, I don't envy anybody. Well, no, that, that's fair enough, but there's other things there's, that you mentioned, things like greed, you know, that people come into, and people, um, I know it's your last caller, it was... Uh, you know, was saying, you know, the, the woman before was, you know, a little mistaken, but maybe not in his kind words. You know, we should be kinder to each other. Absolutely, I you agree know, with I you. I don't think that we're better than each other because, I mean, we're all on this great big planet here. We're all the same. Uh, yeah, exactly. And, you know, my neighbour might have a really nice car, but the car I drive does its job, and I'm happy. But it doesn't matter what your neighbour's got, you shouldn't covet. Well, that's right. Um, cover it, you know. not his ox, not his ass. <laughs> well, hey. I, won't, I won't cover it that anyway. Hey, absolutely. Nice to talk to you and safe journey. Okay, Scotty. See you, buddy. Scotty McClue's late night phone in. Have you phoned yet? Think you do. The only station that guarantees exclusive full match commentary, home and away, of the champions of Europe, Manchester United. Century 105. Right foot in, what a great oh, ball, they're 2 0. Oh, me, the defender, the short and Steve Bauer and Paddy Creran at every domestic game. Every Saturday, react to the action with the post match fun in Century 105 Sport with your Ford dealer, style and class off the pitch. It's true. Dunn stores have reduced selected men's, women's and children's fashions by up to 40%. Honestly, as much as 40%. They're not talking end of line or last season's fashion. I can genuinely tell you that they're discounting selected current stock by as much as 40%. Can you believe it? 40% off top gear. That's no word of a lie. Cross my heart. And that's the honest truth. Up to 40% off. It's true at Dunn Stores, Regent Road, Salford, Times Retail Park, Haywood, St. John's Centre, Liverpool and Concourse Centre, Skelmersdale. Hang gliding, windsurfing, go-karting, salsa, archery, scuba diving. Do it all with Leap. Golf, Nepali cooking, red wine tasting, web page design, day trip to Rome, Tai Chi workshop. Leap can offer hundreds of activities you never thought you'd experience. All at down-to-earth prices. Call the Leap hotline now on 01772 and find out how you could be living life to the max. Leap, the one-stop activity shop. 01772 22 Christmas has come early at Asda. We're paying the value of the VAT on Christmas cards, decorations and other essentials so you don't have to. 40 cute Christmas cards which were $1.99 are now just $1.69 fat free. 50 big saver crackers are down from $19.99 to $16.99. And a 50 pack of Asda party poppers was $1.99 is now only $1.69. So get the season off to a very merry start Start at your local Asda with our VAT free Christmas event. Ends Sunday, November 21st. 0161 400 0000. Have you phoned yet? The Scotty McClue late night phone in from Century 105. Right, you're live on Scotty McClue's megaphone in. We are on Century Radio, the UK's number one radio station. 11 minutes to 11 o'clock. Um, of the 11th day of the 11th month. And um, we're talking to Michael, who's in Chester. Dinky-doo, Michael. Dinky-doo, hello. You all right, mate? Yeah, I, I, I want to talk about the uh, music, music industry today in the 90s and uh, how it's going to go through to the uh, year 2000 and yes. what it's going to be like, if yes. you don't mind. Yes. Um, I, I'm pretty appalled with, actually, the way the music industry has gone in the last eight years or so, and I don't know about yourself if you're a music fan. You're obviously a music fan. I am, obviously, yes. Yeah, um, Big music fan, Scotty McClue's Mega Mix. Yeah, well, what type of music are you into? What's, what is your favourite? Anything. What, anything? Rock, yeah. Rock jazz, yeah. soul, yeah. pop, yeah, classical, anything. I'm into the whole bit. Brass band. Yep. Love me brass bands. Oh, yeah. Big, yeah. big brass band man, me. You are? Yeah, great. Yep. But yeah. rock, soul, pop. 
classical. Yeah, it's all. It's, all, it's I think I don't sacred, know. sacred music. So what's that? Sorry, sacred music. What's that? What's oh, all that about? Sacred, you know, like um, like hymns and things. Oh yeah, no, or, or oratorio, no, no. oratorio. Do you know your oratorio opera? Oh uh, yeah, I like. I'm. I I appreciate opera. Not not really much of a religious man. So here, are you are you, are you into the oratorio? Um, no, I'm more. I well, I'm actually Bach's Bach's uh, Christmas Oratorio and well, um, Handel's Messiah. Well, um, Israel, Israel and Egypt. <laughs> hey, are you into Israel and Egypt? For that right there we go. Okay, not very bright that one was he? Ah, uh, no, Tracy from Blackburn. Are you there, Tracy? Alright, Scotty. Yes, look. I um I got cut off before my phone cut off on me. Is it possible to say the message again? Just the last bit, love. Last bit, where I can't... Oh, the whole bit. Can I do the whole bit again? Yeah, well, don't get your phone cut off, otherwise it could <laughs> no, go on I'm for not, years. No, more now, so All right, right, the whole message, love, starting right. from the start. All right, thanks. Hi, Keith. It was so good to speak to you earlier today. I am sorry, and in future you will hear things from me first. But as far as what anybody is saying, it's not true. We'll show them love. I love you to bits, and always will. You mean the world to me, boy, and we'll be here for you for always. One day our dream will come true and we'll start our lives together. That day I will hold you so tight, I'll never let go. I can't wait to be your wife. I'll be there tomorrow for you, just like I said. I'll always stand by you for always for the rest of my life. My life's with you and you only. Try and keep your chin up, love. I'll be there for you and always will be. Love you to bits, missing you so much, Keith. Just remember, I'm your young and bonny last love and always will be. We need to be strong for each other and we will get through this together. Thanks very much. Thank you do. Thank you do, darling. Thanks a lot. Well done. Did you nip out for a top up voucher? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right, love. Take care. Bye. Bye. I love you. Right, there we are. A message to her loved one. I believe in romance, and I think that, uh, you know, we can uh, we can go along with that. Right. Uh, now, who have I got here? Paddy from Rain Hill. Dinky-doo, Paddy. Dinky-doo, uh, dinky uh, Scotty. You've got <laughs> oh, me now. How are you, mate? I've got you, I've got you there, eh? Now listen to me, you blocked me off the other night, I couldn't get through at all. I was sensible no. to block you off, you were talking complete and utter nonsense. I, I was, I, I must have had too much to drink. You had far too much to drink. I think I did. I but don't you know, think you should actually drink at all. I don't think I should drink, I think it's a bad thing to be honest with you, I've only had about six bottles tonight. I think it makes you sound a bit silly. I think it makes me sound silly myself. <laughs> listen, I, I want to talk about, um... Tonight, I, I'd like to talk about, you know, the, the new flight in, uh, in Manchester, in, 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 uh, in Liverpool, there, the new, the new, um, the new aeroplane that's going off there. The well, new aeroplane? Yeah, the new plane that's going off there in Liverpool, there. Yes. Have you got that one? No. You haven't got that one? No. No. Well, Do you want to talk about anything else? Yes, I'd like to talk about you, to be honest with you. Me? Yes, what are you interested in? What are you, what, what are you interested in, Scotty? Everything. No, you're not. You must have something you're interested in. Try, I try everything on for size. What about these prostitutes? In, Co coastal in, in, shipping. What about these prostitutes? Coastal... How, how much do you think they'll be charging on the New Year's, on the Millennium, though? Oh, I shouldn't think there'll be much call for prostitutes in the Millennium. Oh, I think it's disgusting. I think, I think there'll that. be plenty of loose women about anyway. Yes, but I think it's just in there, Scotty, you know. Dreadful thing, a dreadful thing. We should ban it, ban prostitution, make it, uh, uh, you know, completely not possible. Oh, so you don't like that? You don't like nothing to do with things like that? No. Yes? You no. don't like it at all? Don't like it at all. You know my brother, my brother's... I can't, I can't understand why they haven't all been taken off the streets years ago. I don't, they should get a shovel and shovel them all up. It's, it's a thing of the past, prostitution. Yes, I think it is. I don't like it. It's terrible. I think they should get a shovel and shovel them all up and throw them all in a hole. Right. To be honest with you. Thank you very much for that then, Paddy. There we are. We always have our top academics on, and that was our Irish academic tonight. Now, Lynn. 